Ace Winners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, hope we're doing well. And we are back at the old Mandalay Bay. We're gonna go ahead and do another attempt on the $20 technique, but I'm gonna try something a little different. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right there, Spinners and Sharks, here's what happened. While we were online for our two-night comp stay at Mandalay Bay, I was approached in line by a mobile check-in agent. Wasn't quite prepared for that. They took my ID and my credit card, no worries, and had me ready for check-in. They gave me the resort fees and tax total of $100. Before we swiped the card, however, I asked about Delano and how booked they were. There was a quick call, I flashed my MLF gold card, and just like that, Delano King Suite. I tipped $20 as a thank you, of course, and then trekked through the casino to my room. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, and here we are. We are... Well... We're at Delano. We're gonna take our very first look at the Delano King Suite here. So here we are, room 32802, and well, let's see what we got. All right, guys, here we are at the Delano Suite here at Mandalay Bay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the whole room. So we got this first door on our left over here, and that's actually gonna be the whole bathroom here. So pretty basic, you got your toilet on this end, you do an immediate turn to the right, and then you know you got your soap, just basic cleansing soap here. Single sink, all good stuff, no space underneath. And then you got your mirror, of course, too. So, you know, it's definitely sun's out, guns out right now. That's how we do. <laughs> and then we'll be moving on to the living room right after this. So immediately you'll notice the big screen TV. We also do have the smaller desk over here. I brought my laptop in just for scale here. But it's good size desk. You got a phone in here. And then if you did want to connect your laptop or gaming system to the television, you do have inputs here. So VGA, HDMI, audio input, whatever you have, you should be able to hook it up. DisplayPort users, you guys are out of luck. That's what that is. Immediately to our right, we also do have a wet bar. So it's going to have both the glasses up top. You also do have an in-house coffee maker over here, coffee sold separately. And then the Fiji waters with the actual cups of coffee. But again, if you pick these up, you're going to have to pay for them later. So it's probably not worth it. Bring these up, watch your eyes. And of course, you have the forbidden mini bar right below, filled with all kinds of nonsense, including grab and go Pringles, which will cost you $3 on a spirit flight for reasons. All sorts of generic uh, hotel branded snacks here. Um, some really overpriced alcohol. And of course, if you uh, meet someone special, then here's a little something you can share with them. Also have a full-size couch immediately to our right too, with a little bit of artwork on the walls. Looks like someone hanging out at the Delano pool or the Mandalay Beach pool, not sure which, probably both. And then you'll also notice that the room is climate controlled. And we have our shears and drapes, but that is the entirety of the living room. And now it's a good time to move on to the bedroom. So coming into the bedroom here from the living room, we've got the luggage rack down here, but that's not terribly important. You're gonna notice that flanked between the two reading lights, you have one king-sized bed, and that is some pretty good stuff. Looks like it's gonna be real comfortable and it's gonna be a great place to crash after the Resorts World Grand Opening. Next to the television too, this room also features an iHome. Can't remember which model this is, but it does feature two charging USB ports. So that's a nice thing if you find yourself short on outlets. While we're in the neighborhood though, we should check out the view before we go on to the bathroom. Shears and drapes are a little heavy, but yeah, you can see it. You can actually see the entirety of Mandalay Beach, which I think is 
one of the best, if not the best pool in all of Las Vegas. So that's a pretty awesome little feature there. And then if you go slightly to the right, you get a good view of Allegiant Stadium. So Raiders fans, this might be a good spot for you to hang out. You'll also notice from the other half of the room that we've got another big screen, flat screen TV over here. That one's probably only about 42 inches, so not bad. But knowing that you have a flat screen in the living room and then you also have one here that's already two TVs, so that's a TV in every room, so that's pretty neat. And then we should take a look inside these cabinets over here, since there doesn't seem to be a formal closet anywhere in this space. All right, so checking out the closet over here. Yep, looks like it's plenty of space to hang up dresses and jackets and shirts and whatnot. Oh, you even have a little drawer down here where you can uh, store some shoes or a few extra accessories. And of course, you have the safe, the trusty room safe. Conveniently, the other side carries the actual Delano robe over here. Pretty sure these things are like $100, so you probably don't want to sneak them away in your luggage. I already took the liberty of hanging up my jacket over here. And if you are so inclined, there's iron and board over here for you to, you know, actually iron your clothing before a night out on the strip. Okay, but here is the room over here that Wonder Woman's going to be rather cross with me with. This is the bathroom. Come check this out, Spinners and Sharks. So coming right into it, we are looking at his and hers sinks, or his and his sinks, hers and hers. I don't care what you're about. Just wash your hands in here, all right? That's what the sinks are for. Ooh, standard issue. E11 Stormtrooper. Of course, up top, the mirror itself is lit, so you definitely get to check yourself before you hit the strip. Shout out to my boy TVP. And then, of course, you do have the close-up mirror over here, just to make sure you're getting that close shave or what have you. Wondering how close my shave is. Not really feeling like checking that on camera, because I'm going to be really self-conscious about it. It is really nice to see that the lights work. The lights didn't work the last couple places I went. <clears throat> Bellagio. Oh. Speaking of full body mirrors over here, we do have one that leads straight into the water closet. And speaking of water closet here, yep, yeah, we got a whole second one. So there are two bathrooms in this room and you got the extra roll of toilet paper in the back and then one ready to roll in the front too. So that's always pretty handy. But of course we got to save the best for last over here. We've got ourselves the Stand up steam shower here. Gotta jump on in, see how good it is. And yes, it is appropriate Ace of Vegas height over here. So fellas, if you are rounding the six feet line over there, you're gonna be just fine. Plenty of space immediately to the left over here for toiletries and whatnot. So you got a place for soaps, you got a place for shampoos and all that good type of stuff. So whatever you need, boom, we got it covered right here. No room is complete without a separately attached tub for soaking here. It's not quite Japanese style, not that big, but it is one good tub here. You even got an extra rack over here to hide your towels. And yeah, this looks like it'd be a pretty comfortable spot. Really deep here, actually. Actually, come to think of it, we should test the depth. Hold on. Shadow Star Striker. Dude, I'm in this thing over here the water could come up to my chest. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I haven't been in a Vegas tub that does that in a long time. And I think my favorite feature in this room is not all of the toiletries over there, but the fact that this also has a television. Yeah, we've got a television in every room except for the water closet over here, so. Hey, that's a win. And yeah, that's the end of it. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and try and enjoy this. Oh, it's actually a pretty soft bed. We're gonna go ahead and check this out, see how soft this is.
I have to admit, the Delano King Suite is one of the best basic rooms that I've ever stayed at in Vegas. Separate bedroom, tub, having the TV in every room definitely sets it apart from even rooms at Wynn and Bellagio. The location is still pretty tough, but the view of the pool was handy in planning my day, and I think I'd certainly do this again. This is probably the best upgrade I've ever received in an M-Life property. Not that the Mandalay Bay rooms are bad by any stretch of the imagination, but Delano rooms are that much better for a relatively small price difference. Getting this for $20 in tips saved me the better part of $100 that weekend. Not bad for a very quick question about upgrades. But yeah, time to take a break, take a nap, figure out dinner, and just enjoy the peace and quiet of this suite. So, until next time, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's room tour and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. Have you stayed at Delano Las Vegas before? Would you consider trying it out now that you've seen the room tour? Or do you think I would have been better off getting a better room at Mandalay Bay itself? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing off and I'm wishing you all strong hands and of course, happy spending you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. 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 Viva Ace of Vegas.